Let's take a few moments to get to know the accusative case a little bit better. What I want to do in this presentation is, like I've done in my other presentations, look at the concept of the accusative case first in English, and then I'm going to transition over to a discussion of the accusative case in German. Finally, what I want to do in this presentation is to look at the definite article and the personal pronoun in the accusative case. Now, this is something that I will address in more depth in other presentations, but what I want to do right now is just sort of prime the pump a bit, get you thinking about how the accusative case affects the, uh, the, the grammar, affects the construction of the sentence a bit. Now, let's look at the sentence you see on your screen. I hit the chair. Now, let's take it apart. We have the subject of the sentence, the person who is performing the action, the person of primary interest, the main actor, the reason why I am even talking, or producing the sentence, is to tell a little bit more about this actor. This actor, which is a first person singular personal pronoun, is in the nominative case. Again, this is the person, the thing, the object that is pulling all of the weight in the sentence. It's the main actor. So what is this main actor doing? Well, that brings us to the verb. First person singular verb of to hit. This person is hitting. Now, I could leave it just at that. I hit. It makes a complete sentence. I have a subject, I have a verb. But it begs the question, what am I hitting? And that question brings us to the accusative case, the chair. Now, it's a singular noun, but it's of interest, it's in the accusative case, because this noun receives the action of being hit. It receives the action performed by the primary actor in the sentence. So, for review, we have I. I is in the nominative case. I is a first person singular personal pronoun. It's the subject of the sentence, the main actor. What is this main actor doing? Well, he's hitting. Well, that begs the question, what is being hit? The chair, which is the accusative case. Again, the accusative case receives the action performed by the primary actor in the sentence. So, let's move on to German. Same sentence in German. Ich schlage den Stuhl. Again, we have ich, a first person singular personal pronoun in the nominative case, the primary actor in the sentence. What is this primary actor doing? Schlage, the first person singular verb form of schlagen. I hit. Again, begging the question, well, what is being hit? What receives the action performed by the primary actor in the sentence? And that would be den Stuhl, a masculine singular noun in the accusative case. Now, you're, maybe you're wondering, well, Stuhl is masculine, and if I remember correctly, masculine is der, and you are correct. However, and this is what I want, this is why I want to broach this topic a little bit in this presentation. When we move certain nouns into the accusative case, this movement is reflected in the grammar. And uh, der will go to den, as we'll see in a few seconds. So, ich schlage, like I mentioned before, should be der Stuhl. Der is the nominative form. It's a masculine singular noun. Der Stuhl. However, 
as we have determined already in our discussion, der Stuhl is in the nominative case if it receives the action of being hit, it re is required to be in the accusative case. So we can't stick a noun into the accusative case and have it remain nominative. So something has to change. And that is the definite article. So ich schlage, der Stuhl goes to den Stuhl. So der masculine noun, der, in the accusative case will go to den. That signals to us, the person who's looking at the sentence, that, aha, uh -huh, okay, I have a subject. The subject is ich. Ich is in the nominative case. The subject, ich, the primary actor in the sentence is doing something. He's hitting, schlagen. What is he hitting? Ah, den Stuhl. Now, I know that should be der Stuhl, but I see that's den, which signals to me, the reader of the sentence, that it's actually the accusative case. So, the chair, der Stuhl, which is now den Stuhl, receives the action of being hit. And I will get to that, in, 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 like I mentioned before, in other uh, later presentations. So, What's nice is that when we, when, we, when we put a noun into a sentence, we have to be very cognizant of, is it masculine, feminine, neuter, or plural? And things may change based on the position in the sentence. If it's an accusative case, as we just saw here, uh, dare will go to dane. What's nice to know is that for masculine, for, for definite articles, which are der, die, das, die, uh, only the masculine changes in the accusative case. Der will go to den. As you see, on your, on, as you see here on your, on your screen, uh, feminine stays the same, the neuter stays the same, and the plural stays the same. Now, Another thing that we could also do, uh, we, we talked about nouns that change based on their position in the sentence, if it's in the accusative case. We can also change personal pronouns. In a prior presentation, we talked about the fact that in German, we can switch out nouns with personal pronouns. So der Stuhl is a masculine noun. Therefore, we could substitute a masculine personal pronoun, er. However, as you see here, der Stuhl is in the nominative case. Similarly, er, the personal pronoun, is also in the nominative case. But I want to put it into the accusative case. The question is now, will it change? Yes, it does. Um, masculine pronoun, a masculine singular pronoun, er, if I put it into an accusative environment, an accusative situation, it will have to change to reflect its new role as an accusative object. So, ich, subject of the sentence, nominative case, the primary actor, what am I doing? I'm hitting something action in the sentence. So, question is, who receives the action that's performed? That brings us to the accusative case. Now, er is he in the nominative case. I hit he? No, I have to change it, even in English. I hit him. Same thing in German. Ich schlage ihn. Ihn indicates that this person, a he, receives the action of being hit by the primary actor in the sentence, and that would be me. Again, accusative case. So, on the screen you have some personal pronouns. Um, mich, dich, ihn, sie, es. Those are all singular, accusative, 
personal pronouns. In the plural, we have uns, euch, sie, sie. Again, now this is something I'm going to look at in more depth in later presentations. The main point that I want to get across right now is that sometimes when we put a noun or a personal pronoun into an environment that requires the accusative case, and that could be receiving some type of action performed by the primary actor in the sentence, which is in the nominative case. This change will be reflected in a change of grammar, in a change of grammatical forms. So der goes to den, er goes to ihn. Uh, first person singular, as you see on your screen, ich goes to mich. Accusative case. 